Hello, our video today is working with fractions and percents. So let's start by taking a percent and converting it to a fraction. So remember when we have a percent, something like maybe 15%, that the definition of percent means it's a number out of 100 or parts out of 100. So using that definition, we can simply rewrite 15% as a fraction by putting 15 over 100. And so there we've changed our percent to a fraction. And of course, whenever we write fractions, we always want to write them in lowest terms. So 15 over 100 can be reduced. We can divide out a 5 out of 15 and a 5 out of 100. So this would reduce to the fraction 3 20ths in lowest terms. All right, so let's do a few more examples. How about 36%? Let's write this as a fraction in lowest terms. Now at any time you can pause the video and then restart it to see how you did. Okay, if you paused your video, welcome back. Let's start by using the definition of percent. 36% equals 36 over 100. However, 36 and 100 both have the common factor of 4. So if we divide numerator denominator by 4, we can reduce this fraction to 9 25ths. So how'd you do? Okay, let's try another one. How about... 4%. Okay, again, let's start by writing as a fraction using definition of percent. So 4 over 100, and we can divide by 4 again. So this will reduce to 1 25th. All right, how about this one? 160%. Well, again, let's not waver. Let's use our definition of percent. Okay, now let's reduce this fraction. Well, right away I can see I can divide out a 10. So an easy way to do that would be to cross out those zeros. And then 16 and 10 are both divisible by 2. So if we divide by 2, this would reduce to 8 fifths. And we can leave our fraction as an improper fraction, or you could write it one and three-fifths, but typically we leave improper fractions the way they are in upper math. So eight-fifths would be the equivalent of 160%. All right, so now let's work the other direction. Let's go from fraction to percent. Again, I can use definition of percent and set up a proportion. I know that four-fifths would be equal to some number over 100, and that would give me the percent. Now, in this case, uh, this is an easily solved proportion because 5 goes evenly into 100. I can just multiply straight across and make an equivalent fraction. I can go 5 times 20 is 100, so 4 times 20 would equal N. Mr. Beanin, call extension 2005. Mr. Beanin, extension 2005. Yes, Mr. Bean, and make sure that you call them. All right, so uh, this would simplify to make 80%. All right? Now, I know that many of you have been taught to cross multiply and divide, and that will work for any proportion. But oftentimes, I like to just multiply straight across and make an equivalent fraction if I can see that the denominators uh, go into each other evenly, like this one here. All right, let's look at 11 25ths. Again, uh, we can set up our proportion by setting 11 over 25 equal to n over 100. And again, 25 is a number that goes evenly into 100. It goes four times. So if I multiply numerator, denominator by four, I'll make an equivalent fraction of 44 over 100. So this would equal 44%. Extension 2005. Mr. Walker, extension 2005. Yes, Mr. Walker, make sure you call that extension. All right, well, <laughs> we're going to keep going here. Um, 
Sometimes that happens. We get interrupted. 9 over 20 and 18 over 60. Go ahead and change those to percents. Uh, pause the video and do it on your own and then check your answer. Teachers, please report to your post. I'm at my post. I'm making a video. Be quiet. All right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and, and and see what we got. So nine over twenty. This would equal n over one hundred. Again, twenty is a number that multiplies evenly. Uh, twenty goes in, evenly into one hundred. It goes five times. So twenty times five is a hundred. Nine times five is forty-five. Therefore, nine twentieths is the equivalent of forty-five percent. Eighteen over sixty. Now. Uh, I can set this equal to n over 100, but 60 doesn't go evenly into 100. However, 18 over 60 can be reduced. So I'll try that next. Rather than cross multiplying and dividing, which would work, you can do that. That's fine. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce this. I can divide out, if I divide by 6, this would reduce to 3 over 10. And then, of course, 10 goes evenly into 100, it goes 10 times, therefore 3 tenths would equal 30%. So how'd you do?